the Afslout Dijk. At a point where the IJsselmeer, once the Zuiderzee meets the Wattenzee, there was once an estuary. Fresh water and salt water mingled freely. Now this dike, 20 miles long, keeps out the sea. It has locks at two points where only water and shipping can pass through. Many fish species need fresh water to breed or grow up in. But since the Afslat dike was built, their path is blocked and they can no longer reach their breeding grounds. At low tide, excess water from the Eiselmeer gushes into the Wadensee. The fish are drawn to the fresh water and try to swim in against the current. They have little chance against the flow, so their migration route is blocked. And that is why the Fish Migration River has been invented. Thanks to this new system, large numbers of fish can safely reach the Eiselmeer whenever they want. Weak swimmers among the fish hitch a ride on the inward flow when it's high tide in the Wattensee. When it's low tide in the Wattensee, fresh water flows out. The fresh water current from the fish migration river attracts the fish to the entrance. Strong swimmers can easily swim against the flow. At the entrance, there is an island where various birds, such as plovers and terns, can breed in peace. Via an opening, the fish can pass through the Afslaut Dag. This passage has a main stream and a secondary stream. Gates have been installed in both the openings. These are used to regulate the current speed and the amount of salt water that enters. Vertical bulkheads have been placed in the secondary stream, reducing the current speed there. This allows weaker swimmers to pass through at their own pace. The passage can be closed off with a storm surge barrier. This guarantees safety against flooding. The passing fish can be seen through a riverside viewing window. And in a specially modified bunker, you can view the information about the fish migrations and the migratory species. The world of salt and fresh water can be experienced here. As the fish move further into the Eiselmeer, the water gradually becomes fresher. In the fluctuating transition zone between salt and fresh water, a dynamic area of brackish water is created. Here the fish have time to adapt and new vegetation can grow. To create the ideal length of about three miles, the middle section has an array of groins made of wooden posts. Here you can also find an art project consisting of about 300 fish silhouettes that turn with the tide. The fish now continue along their route to the Eiselmeer and further upstream. There they will develop or breed. To prevent salt water flowing into the Eiselmeer, the fish migration river can be closed off at the end with a lock. A large part of this remarkable new nature reserve will soon be open to visitors and people will be able to explore it via meandering footpaths. There is also a jetty to allow access to the fish migration river by boat. No other country has anything like this fish migration river, although about 200 comparable situations exist throughout the world and require a solution. The fish migration river is a shining example of Dutch Delta design with international prominence.